This is my Chocolate Lab Sadie, and we have had a problem with dandruff in the past on Sadie. Um, so I've learned some great home remedies that I just wanted to share with you for um, getting rid of dandruff on dogs. So the first thing is to make sure it's not related to an underlying condition. Um, sometimes allergies, skin infections, uh, an immune system disorder sometimes can cause flaky dry skin. So just make sure it's not any underlying condition and you can uh, consult your vet for that if you have any questions that think it may be related to something else. Um, the first thing I learned and something that um, I actually really have used as a home remedy for a lot of different things is a well-balanced diet. I never realized when I was younger how important it is to feed your dog a really high quality diet. I thought commercial products all sort of lived up to the same standards um, and as most of us know now, you know, that's absolutely not true. So making sure that you're feeding a high quality diet, uh, cheaper kibbles for example are made with a lot of filler ingredients, artificial ingredients, things that can really wreak havoc on your dog's overall health and well-being and one of those things that it can have a negative impact on is their skin and coat health. So feeding a higher quality diet, changing their food, upgrading it, um, getting something that has more nutrients uh, in a smaller quantity so you'll get um, you know more bang for your buck. So it might be more expensive for a bag but you're not needing to feed as much because it's more nutrient dense. Um, and oftentimes those are made with superfood ingredients that include um, things like fish oil, omega-3 fatty acids that are really good for your dog's skin and coat. Um, the second thing is to use a humidifier. Sometimes it's just the dry air. It's the same way with people. Our skin dries out uh, when you know the weather gets dry. So if you live in a particularly dry climate, or uh, for example here in Maine where I live, it gets really dry in the winter time. So we run a humidifier just to keep the air moist and help with any um, dryness and dandruff that happens in the winter months. Regular grooming is also really important. Um, brushing your dog regularly actually helps to spread the natural oils that his skin and coat create um, and it helps to just spread those around and nourish and moisturize his skin naturally. So a lot of people don't realize that brushing is actually one of the best things you can do for your dog's skin condition as well as for their coat. Another important tip when talking about grooming your dog is to change out their shampoo. If they have dry skin, uh, that's only a poor quality shampoo is only going to make it worse. So you can use an oatmeal shampoo, which have been shown to uh, aid in skin and coat health and help to moisturize the skin. You could also use a dandruff shampoo. Just be sure that you get a dandruff shampoo made specifically for dogs. Human shampoo, um, including human dander shampoo, is actually not pH balanced for a dog's skin. Their skin has a different pH balance than ours does. So typically human shampoos are really rough on the coat and they can actually dry out the skin which is going to make the dandruff problem worse. So uh, a dandruff shampoo or an oatmeal shampoo specifically made for dogs is what I would recommend. And I touched just briefly earlier on some of those high quality foods that include omega-3s. Um, you can also give omega-3 as a supplement. Quite oftentimes for dogs it comes through a fish oil supplement um, and it just either adding that to their food or giving it as a treat during the day. Uh, Omega-3s have been shown to uh, uh, nourish skin and coat health and um, there's plenty of research on that and why uh, they do what they do for your dog's skin and coat. If you click the link below this video, it'll take you to my written guide and all of that science behind omega-3s and how beneficial they are for your dog's body, not just their skin and coat, but particularly um, for the purposes of this video, that's what we're focusing on. So uh, click the link below the video. My written guide has all of the science behind that and you can check out some products I linked to that I use uh, with my dogs fish oil supplements and grooming products and such if you're having some struggles with dandruff on your dog. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.